Welcome to a new video. Um, as most of you know, the beta will go live on Friday and the codes have been sent out today. Um, I think they came out in three intervals. The first one was Japan, then Europe and I think North America has been sent out now as well. So check your emails and um, I'm afraid if you have gotten anything that might mean you're no. not included basically yeah. yeah which is unfortunate it does look um like there weren't weren't as many codes sent out as people thought there would be um i mean they did say uh, codes were limited but yeah here we go this is kind of like a live reaction for us we know that you won't be able to actually play anything come till friday um for those of you who don't know the schedule i'll leave a schedule link down below in the description um so yeah let's check out what we can see um before the actual beta itself goes live. Uh, so yeah, they're using Unreal Engine 4 for this game. Um, okay, this is beta software that's done development. Yep, yep. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna try and play as much as possible over the weekend. So next week after the beta, we'll we'll upload some gameplay footage that we recorded. Yeah, we'll be uploading some footage over the weekend and do like a post beta impressions. Uh, we played the TGS and E3 build, so we'll do some comparisons to that, if anything uh, has changed, really. Um, cool, so let's get into this main... Alright, so yeah, this is what we've been hearing a lot about. There's some preset avatars that you can choose from at the moment. This is all that I believe you can see before it says you can't go further ahead. So let's look at some of these abilities. So we've got Kamehameha, Spirit Gun, Spirit Gun Pegasus Meteor Fire, Meteor Fist, Jesus. We've got Pegasus Meteor Fist, Super Spirit Bomb. So Pegasus Meteor Fist kind of un unofficially confirms uh, Saint Seiya characters. Uh, again, we've got some... Okay, so some of them are exactly the same moveset-wise, just uh, the first abilities change. So we've got Gum Gum, uh, Red Hawk, and and again, there's like a female Luffy here. Uh, we've got Rasengan. We've got a <laughs> Shika Naruto. Shikamaru in Naruto's attire. He even looks like he's got the whiskers there, faintly. Yeah. Um, and we've got like a female Sasuke. Now this is cool. Uh, so let's look at... So this looks kind of silly, really. Um, he's got like a spandex on, but the graphics engine... I think the graphics engine is just so good, that's why it looks so realistic. I don't know if you can see it properly on the recording, but it does look really realistic and I think that that kind of makes it look a bit stupid. Yeah, it kind of makes it too realistic for an anime. Um, but yeah, we've got blue hair fire. I wonder if you can select the transformations for these characters. Like, if you could say if they're going to go Super Saiyan or like Naruto's BG mode. Sasuke, Susano, etc. I kind of can't think that they would let you, for example, if you create your own character, a woman with like really long hair, I can't imagine if they have the Super Saiyan ability that the hair would change because that would mean they have to have like a preset Super Saiyan hairstyle for every oh, yeah. possible hairstyle. That yeah, that's possibly... true, yeah. So every hairstyle combination would have to have a Super Saiyan for variant of it, really. Yeah. In case someone selects other transformation, because it would look really, I don't know, it wouldn't look good if you had a female character with really long hair suddenly transform into Super Saiyan and she's got like the short hair that yeah. Goku and Vegeta have. Yeah, that have. wouldn't look good. Yeah, that wouldn't look good at all. Uh, so let's see if select one of these characters he looks oh yeah okay so we can't go any further than that um, that's as far as we can get until the actual beta itself has started uh, but if we go in and look at the characters again the screenshots that we see in like press releases don't and, do it justice yeah really don't all. do it justice at all um, I'm not too familiar with One Piece but this is Vegeta's attire then we've got Goku mm -hmm. uh, And Luffy again, and Naruto looks. It always Shikamaru Naruto looks really tall there. Yeah. Makes him look like he's got jack ups. Jennifer Lawrence. Wow, I don't <laughs> really see that. But. 
uh, I guess, kind of. But here we can see that the Sasuke's attire, the, the uh, ropes around the waist, that isn't his uh, default colour. It's is usually that? purple. Yeah, yeah, it's usually purple, so maybe we were able to tweak some colours of preset uh, costumes, which is really cool. Um, uh, but I, I don't know if Shikamaru's face being in there confirms Shikamaru's in the game or not, just because I can't see him being a pick over some other popular Naruto characters but who I knows. I mean I would like it he would probably be quite cool to play if built properly because he's got an interesting He does have some cool style. juices yeah. But, um, yeah but yeah that's really about it for now there's not much else we can do until Friday if you do want to play with us um, our PSN ID is in uh, our YouTube bio so feel free to Add us on uh, PlayStation and then send us a message just so we know who you are and uh, if you'd like to play. If there's a lot of requests, we'll try and fit some of you in, but we're going to be recording all, all weekend so you will be in footage if that's alright. Um, otherwise, we'll just be playing with some randoms. Some of that 1080p 4K yeah. no scopes. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really excited about that first look. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks really cool. And just remember, this is beta, so these preset avatar. Um, selections are that their preset. They, they'll be fully customizable in the full game. I wonder if you can pick the voice as well, kind of oh, like yeah. Monster Hunter and other games. Like there's different variants of female and male voices. Um, yeah. So if there's that, not that. Then again, goes back to the point: Will it be fully um, dubbed? Will it be fully localized, or yeah. is it going to be Japanese voice? Yeah. I have a feeling it would just be Japanese voice, which not not, no, not um, a problem. But um, yeah, so that's about it really. We've got a uh, new video coming out very soon. It's a general Jump Force discussion of what we know so far, really, and what we can kind of look forward to expect in the near future as the game's only got four more months to release. And what our concerns are as well. Yeah, some of our concerns about the game so far regarding the roster and other stuff. Um, also, if you didn't get into the closed beta this time, there may be the hope of an open beta maybe around January time, a lot closer to release. I'm sure you'll have a chance to play it before the game's out, and if not, it's not that long of a wait anyway. Yeah. Uh, so we hope you can provide you with some entertaining videos. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.